have for you five pole poses for pullers of all levels, okay? So even if you are new to pole, only learned a few moves, here's some ideas and some things you can do for a photo shoot. And this is whether it's a professional photo shoot or you're just asking one of your friends to snap a couple of photos of you because you wanna show what you're doing or you wanna show off a new outfit that you have. That being said, Yes, these moves are doable for all levels of polars, but I found for me personally, quite often, it's the simple poses that come out the best in photo shoots. Okay, for all of you advanced intermediate polars, I know you have that trick that you're like, oh, I want to capture a photo of it. I highly recommend throwing in one or two of these simple but elegant poses. Okay, so for starters, we're going to take it to a climb. Okay. We all learn climbs within our first day of pole, week of pole, month of pole, okay? With this one, when you go into your climb, here's the rule of thumb for most poses. When in doubt, stick your booty out, okay? So you're going to go to a climb, and then from your climb, you're going to sit your butt down so your thighs are parallel, arch your back, stick your chest out, okay? If you feel comfortable letting go with one hand, great. You can go ahead back, or you can hold on to the pole, whichever. Okay, so a climb. Next up, we have a pull sit, and there's all kinds of variations with this one. Okay, for your pull sit, we're here. It can be just a pull sit and a grab, it can be a bent leg, it can be an open leg. If you feel comfortable starting to lay back into it, start to add some arch. Legs can be bent, straight, pull sit. Okay, also. On that note, all these poses, I'm not going to detail how to get into them. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials on getting into these, some of them you can find on my YouTube channel. Even more of them you can find in my online pollers program. So check that out. Links below, links at the end, all those things, elizabethbfit.com. Okay, so next, this one's getting a little bit more challenging, but I think you're up for the challenge, the jasmine. Okay, another one of those pole staples that so many of us learn. Taking it to your jasmine, here, it can be a bent leg jasmine, it can be a straight leg jasmine, both legs straight, one hand on, one hand off, whichever way you want. So one pose and so many variations right there, okay? So now we're gonna take it up to a secretary sit, a little variation on this, okay? From your pulse sit, you're going to bend your bottom leg, bend your top leg, Let's turn to this side angle, because once again, we want the booty cheek side. Arm can come around the pole. You can hold. You can hold if you want to get dramatic, depending on your flexibility or where you want to go with this. All kinds of options. It's basically a pole sit with both legs bent. Okay? So now we're going to take it down to the floor. Okay? Don't ever discount all the great pole poses that we can do down low. Because here's something to keep in mind in photo shoots, whether you've done one before, maybe you've encountered this, maybe you haven't. Quite often, things don't go as planned. Maybe you get there and it's a brand new pole and it's super slippery. Maybe you get there and the pole is outside and you're sweaty and it's hot, or maybe someone else was on the pole before you and they decided to put some kind of special oil in their hair to make it nice and shiny for the photo shoot and that oil gets on the pole and you are not sticking for anything. Don't get frustrated. Take it to some of the poses on the floor, okay? So for starters, booty to the pole, sit it down like you're sitting in a chair, stagger your ankles. So not together, and this one works barefoot and heels, all these work barefoot or heels. One foot a little forward, one foot back, knees are touching, up on your tiptoes, whether you're wearing heels or not. Back arm up on the pole, however you wanna hold on to it, just relax it. Bottom arm, it can be on your booty, your chest, wherever you want it to be, out, anything like that. You can arch. Remember, when in doubt, stick your booty out, make sure you got a little arch here. So when you get into position, right as that camera's about to click, uh, stick that booty out, okay? Taking it to plie to the front, get a little crotchy on this one, okay? Legs out, arm can be whatever position you want, okay? We're gonna take it out, plie down, knees nice and wide, once again, up on those tiptoes, you can make it dramatic however you want to. So here are five, and then some, pull pose ideas for your future photo shoot. Hope you have some fun with these. Would love to see your photos. Make sure you tag me, hashtag Elizabeth Beefit made me do it. 
On that note, as I said earlier, some of these you will be able to find free tutorials on my YouTube channel, but for the rest of them and so much more, check out my online pullers program at elizabethbfit.com. Also, if you check out down below, you'll see a link with my top tips to prepare for a photo shoot. These were some poses, but you're gonna find even more info at that below, including a link to a Pinterest page with some photo ideas of additional ones, some you know similar, simple, as well as more complex, as well as some other ways to prepare for and what things to pack for the day of your photo shoot. So check that out down below. Hope you have some fun with these. Hope these are helpful for you. I hope your photo shoot is amazing and I can't wait to see the pictures. Mm -hmm.